Welcome. My name is Laura Bantock, and I'm the Director of the Western Region at Anaphylaxis Canada. In this short video, I will discuss cross-contamination and how you can minimize the risk of an allergic reaction. The contents of this presentation and related resources are for informational purposes only and does not replace medical advice. Please talk to your physician about any concerns or questions you may have regarding you or your child's health. You may hear the term cross-contamination when people talk about a food allergy. Cross-contamination can happen when a small amount of food allergen gets into another food accidentally. It can be present in saliva, on a surface, or on an object. This small amount of an allergen could cause an allergic reaction if it gets into someone's eyes, nose, or mouth. Let's take a look at different types of cross-contamination. A typical example of food-to-food -food contamination is dipping one food into another, like you can see in this picture. If someone is allergic to strawberries, they could not eat this fondue chocolate as it now poses a risk. Remember you shouldn't attempt to pick out allergens out of a food. Traces of the allergen are likely still present on the remaining food, so it's necessary to prepare a completely new meal. For example, someone allergic to egg couldn't simply remove the egg out of this salad and expect it to be safe to eat. A new salad would have to be prepared. Don't forget to use clean dishes and utensils. These too can have trace amounts of an allergen. It is necessary to properly clean all cookware, dishes, utensils, and cooking surfaces. Someone with a food allergy could have a reaction from consuming just a small amount of an allergen. In this picture, you can see a knife with nut butter residue left on after washing. This knife should not be used by someone with nut allergies or used in a shared food item, like a jar of jam. Food allergens can be passed through saliva from people and pets. Anything that goes into the mouth could possibly be a source of cross-contamination. Here are some simple ways to reduce the risk of cross-contamination. It's important to wash hands before and after eating or before touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. A small research study found that soap and water and commercial hand wipes remove allergens, but hand sanitizing gels did not. If you don't have access to soap and water, consider carrying hand wipes. These are especially helpful when traveling. Don't share food, utensils, or drinks. Allergens can be found in saliva. If your child is given a meal with their allergens, don't attempt to pick out the allergen or have them eat only a small amount. They will need a new meal on a clean dish. Wash cookware, pots and pans, dishes and cutlery thoroughly. Food can get stuck onto dishes and utensils that have been washed. This residue can still cause an allergic reaction. Make sure to clean surfaces with detergent and hot water, commercial cleaners, or commercial wipes. Tell others about your child's allergy so they are aware and able to assist you with reducing the risk. Explain the risk of contaminating food. You may not feel comfortable with someone else preparing food for your child, and that's understandable. Just remember to always have safe snacks available for your child, especially when visiting friends or family members. When you're preparing food, make the allergen-free food first before making foods that will contain allergens. Make sure allergy-free food is clearly labeled, covered, and is stored away to avoid confusion or cross-contamination. Use clean dishes, towels, and sometimes you'll have to use new products. For example, you may have to open a new package of butter to ensure that it has not been contaminated. If it's possible, consider making your home free of your child's allergen. This may be challenging depending on the dietary needs of the other family members. Common foods like milk and soy may be more difficult to keep out of all food products in the house. If you can't make your house allergen free, consider other methods to reduce the risk, such as dedicated shelves, cutting boards, and clearly labeling safe products. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about this video, please contact us. 
scan the QR code on the screen using your smartphone to email us directly. And you can connect with us through social media. Thanks for watching.